the soul is sacred for people, the body is filthy. How is it possible? Yes? That's what we've been doing, isn't it so? Saying God is sacred, creation is filthy. How is it possible? Your very… the very thought of God occurred to you only because you saw creation, isn't it? When you were born and you opened your eyes, you looked around, so much creation. Before you came here, so much has happened. Obviously you did not create it. So you thought, there must be a creator. This is how you come to the creator, isn't it? The moment you thought there must be a creator, because you are in a human form, you thought it must be a big man. A small man like me cannot do all this. It must be a big man. Just two hands, how can it do so much creation? Must be eight hands, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it so? If you were a buffalo, you would be really thinking, God is a huge buffalo. <laughs> Isn't it so? Yes or no? <laughs> you go and ask a buffalo and see, a buffalo will insist, God is a huge buffalo, maybe four horns. <laughs> you know Idi Amin? You heard of Idi Amin? The Uganda man? Idi Amin declared, God is black. I agree with him. If a white man can have a white God, why can't a black man have a black God? But both those people are confused. We know God is brown. <laughs> because he visited us, you know <laughs> Some time ago, I was talking to a group of people in Nashville in Tennessee and I was telling them a joke. In the joke, I just referred to God as him. Immediately a few ladies stood up. Do you believe God is a man? I knew where it's going. I said, see I… <laughs> See, I'm only telling you a joke <laughs> It doesn't matter. You said him, do you believe God is a man? They take the jokes very seriously <laughs> Now women are arguing, God could be a woman. Such problems exist only in those cultures in India. We have man God, we have woman God, we have cow God, we have monkey God, we have… <laughs> Everything, every kind, crawling one, creeping one, flying one, because we foresaw all the problems of the future. <laughs> See, when man was the most powerful force on the planet, man was naturally God. Now women are also gaining in their power, so women are questioning, why, why can't it be a woman? So tomorrow suppose dogs gain lot of power which they're gaining. So dogs will ask, why not a dog god? Actually the spelling also is close, you know <laughs> He seemed to be closer than you, isn't it? So your idea of God is just an, ex an exaggerated version of yourself, isn't it? Your idea of God is just an exaggerated version of yourself. See, you are still not able to define yourself, isn't it? Whatever definition you put on yourself is not correct. Any kind of definition you put on you, it is not enough to describe this one. When this small piece of creation is like this, the source of creation, how are you going to put a definition on it? You cannot define it, you cannot understand it, you can only dissolve into it. You can experience it, you can never know it, you can't make knowledge out of it. 
Whatever you knowledge have knowledge you have about God is just pure nonsense, cultural nonsense. Depending upon which kind of culture you are in, that kind of God you have, isn't it? It can only be experienced. Experience does not mean you can eat it or you can grasp it. No, you can experience only by dissolving in it. There is no other way. So, we are just looking for methods of dissolution so that we can experience something far bigger than ourselves. <laughs>